Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Joey. How are you? Hopefully you're happy. See what I did there? Yeah. <laughs> Anywho, a really, really, really quick shout out to someone who is an amazing, genuine person. Go follow Z Oakson on Instagram. I will put the name on the screen now and both links to his Instagram and his YouTube channel down below. Lately, I've been working on my YouTube brand or my brand for my channel because it's been on my dashboard forever. And this guy had the username, it's Joey. And he was kind enough just to give it up. And he's so nice. People like him are so great. Okay, not to the point of this video. Happiness. In order to become happy, I feel like you need to know what happiness is. Happiness isn't getting what you want or wearing the nice his clothes are being the most popular cliche I know. Happiness, as Google says, how satisfied you are with your life and how good you feel on a day-to-day -day basis. Day-to-day -day basis. That means how you feel in the now. Now that we understand each other, I have compiled a list of 10 things that keep me happy on a day-to-day -day basis. Number one, probably the most effective, stop being so negative. I know that it's hard. I know that you always want to be like, oh, this sucks. I hate this. This is so dumb. I hate you. You're dumb. This is ugly. Why would you want me to wear this? But once you give up the fact that not everything is terrible, you become a more positive person. I'd always be like, that's so annoying. That's so dumb. Or this person's so ugly. And it really affected my life in ways that I didn't even realize. If you create negativity in every situation, then obviously your whole life is going to be a negative down spiral. It's crazy how saying these little things can turn your feelings to shit within like two weeks. Instead, I tell myself why things are good or why I enjoy this present moment. Number dos. Let's be optimistic, you little shits. So a lot of people that I know struggle with this one especially. If anything went wrong, it was always just like, give up, like, oh well, like, oh no, next time. But, really? Or if a grade went wrong, it was always, I'm gonna fail, I'm gonna fail. If you believe that it's never gonna get better, then you're creating this physical barrier between you and happiness. We don't want a Trump situation, ladies and gentlemen. Pause. <laughs> I'm like, not sure why I put this in the video because I'm low-key not shady at Trump, so like, I don't know why I put this in here, I'm shook. What? Actually, someone who I really care about went through this time period where they kind of saw things not going anywhere. What I told them to do was just take some time for themselves and be optimistic and be grateful for things that are to come and things that can improve. Numero tres. If there is one thing that you take away from this video, it is this. Do not get attached to material things. This is a Buddhist type thing that I followed. It's kind of more materialism than Buddhism to me. People always get upset if they don't get what they want, like if they don't get a grade that they want, or they don't want, they don't get the nicest pair of shoes that they want, or they don't get a camera that they want. I guess this is more of like a jealousy type thing. If you spend your whole life wishing that you had this one little thing, then obviously you're gonna live your whole life in jealousy and doubt of yourself. Think about the things that you do have and appreciate them. People, places, feelings, there you go. Number four, this is an obvious one. I'm not gonna go like deep into it at all. Just choose the people you surround yourself with. They really impact your life, either for the better or for the worse, and you make that decision. Cinco! <laughs> Put your uh, learning caps on, ladies and gents. We're gonna dive in. My back hurts from sitting up straight. Do not gossip or hate on people. Trust me. Unless, of course, they deserve it. Do you know who you are? No, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. But really, you know who you are. I feel like this is like one of the main things that changed my my life. I used to actually hate people just because I didn't think they were the kind of person that I liked. And in turn, even though this wasn't true at all, I would assume that everybody hated me. I would literally feel like the world was against me. And it left me so lonely and unhappy for the longest time. I made this rule that I apply every time that I meet somebody and I'm going to share it with you. One, get a sense of the kind of person they are. More or less get a feel for their vibe. Two, Get a sense of how they treat others. Obviously, if they treat others like shit, you're gonna fall on the same hole. Three, ask yourself if they're the kind of person you wanna associate yourself with. If they're negative or dramatic people, I really don't so associate myself with them. If they have like a bad history of like drugs or alcohol or law breaking or anything that can get me in trouble in any way, I won't usually step over that line. Six, be truthful to yourself. Make sure that everything you say, do, drink, eat, sleep, breathe, play, make, especially create, where is true to what you feel and want. If you're honest, and obviously everything that you create for yourself is gonna be stuff that you don't like. Keep it a hundred, boy. Not that hard. I mean, otherwise you're gonna be living a Hannah Montana life, basically. But you won't be getting the best of both worlds. You'll be getting the worst of but you, you get it. Basically, if you lie about who you are and what you like and who you like and, and all this stuff, 
you're never gonna be happy because everything that you've created for yourself is gonna be false. Seven. So this one really corresponds with my Buddhist approach, but let go. Actually, let me look up some Buddhist quotes real fast. One, let go or be dragged. Two, holding on to anger is like drinking poison expecting the other person to die. Three, in the end, only three things matter. How much you loved, how gently you lived, and how gracefully you let things go that weren't meant for you. I've actually heard that one's fake, but true nonetheless. And four, whatever comes, let it come. Whatever stays, let it stay. Whatever goes, let it go. Wow, there's only supposed to be one, but like... Basically, don't try to control what can't be controlled. Don't try to fix what can't be fixed. Don't leave the lights on overnight. Oh shit, sorry. I was reciting the house rules. I don't know why I include that cheesy humor. Just, I'm, not, I'm sorry. But honestly, to this day, I still have trouble just letting go of my anger. But in the end, it all comes down to anger and happiness. If you aren't angry, you're happy. Eight, choose to be happy. Yes, you have to choose and want to be happy. I personally had like a little rut like a few years ago because I was like, I'm unhappy, be sad for me. It was terrible. You have to be like, I want to be happy. Sorry, that's what I want. It's kind of like exercise, I know. Don't, don't click away. <laughs> if you want to lose weight, you have to exercise. If you want to be happy, you have to choose happiness. Nine, I always tell people this one, slow, down. As humans, we always find ways to keep going. If we're hurt, we go out. If we're sad, we push it away. Take some time for yourself. By taking time for yourself, you become one with yourself again. Hippie-ish, I know, sorry, but 10 is a pretty short one. Stop worrying. If you constantly worry, all you're gonna do is get stressed out and stress leads to sadness. Also, I know that when I'm stressed, I become such a little bitch. I'm so mean all the time. Stop worrying and believe that every little thing is gonna be all right. That was so cringy. Ugh. Those are my 10 tips for being happy. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please try these at home. I know that sometimes when you see these videos, they're like, oh my god, whatever. There's another person telling me how to be happy that doesn't work. But really, if you try and you want them to work, they will work. They work for me. I've also been working on my video quality lately. Like, it's been great. Um, I've been using my telephoto lens recently instead of my 1855 because the f-stop's way lower on this and I look cooler from this far away, you know. I'm barely in the shot ever, but it's okay. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already, please subscribe. It means so much to me. Thank you for like close to like 3.1k. That's so amazing. I love you so much. You're amazing. Uh, but yeah, also don't forget to give uh, Zeoxin a follow on Instagram and subscribe to him on YouTube. He just, I think he does like gaming videos. I'm not sure if I've talked to him, but uh, yeah. That's it for today's video, guys. Uh, my name is Joey, and I'll catch you in the next one. And remember, stay happy, hippie.